Well, so the idea is to prevent these illegal street racing events from happening in the first place. So now everyone can get a charge or a fine, and that law is now on the books. We have shown you time and time again the video from these street takeovers in the Seattle-Tacoma metro area. Car shows that are illegal that happen late at night and sometimes lead to even more serious crimes. And people end up getting hurt. They could even get killed. Yeah, you'll see tons of videos all over social media and YouTube uh, and on the news from other states and other parts of uh, even Washington State where people are shooting off guns, people are doing donuts, they're getting pedestrians are getting struck, they're hitting light poles. Oh, he's being arrested for reckless driving. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department certainly not a stranger to these street racing events. Sergeant Darren Moss says now a new state law says even if you show up to these events and aren't driving, you can face a charge or a citation. Everybody that's at one of those events, if you're encouraging it, if you're blocking the road, if you're the one that's racing or you're drifting, um, you all can be cited or arrested. At this parking lot in Spanaway, you can see the tire marks all over. Moss says this is a place they get complaints at. I imagine these are like younger kids that like, you know, I think they're still invincible. One man who was working nearby gave his reaction to the law. No, I definitely think it's a good deterrent, you know what I mean? Especially, it's, it's really about people's safety. For law enforcement, that's the goal. This time, not only focusing on the drivers, but trying to stop the crowds of people from going to these illegal events. So Sergeant Moss didn't have a count yet on how many people have been cited for it. Right now, this is an educational process for this new law, but he feels like something like this is vital during the summer as the temperatures warm up. It's traditionally a period of time when there are more things happening on our roadways. For now, we'll send it back to you. First tonight, Washington State is cracking down on street racing and dangerous driving. A new state law not only holds people who participate accountable, but people who watch, film, or block roads during those said events. Paul Rivera joins us tonight. So, Paul, this law was put into place to further help deter illegal street racing in our state. That's right. And so the question of why did it happen now, well, I'm told... Uh, that law enforcement, they say that summer is one of the busiest times for the roadways. It's also one of the most dangerous times. So right now, this is an education period. They're hoping to get that information out to people so that this doesn't happen. Um, I had talked to a law enforcement source at one point. I've been covering this for a couple of years now, and they said that these street race events that are illegal, they're also part of a show and they get people together to watch these things. And if they can limit the amount of spectators at these illegal street racing events, then they believe that can start to end some of these. So the plan is to not only go after the drivers, but also if you are an organizer of these illegal street racing events, if you are spectating, if you're blocking the road, if you're filming, if you're doing things like that, Right now, with that new law that was put in place earlier this year, that is something that you could get charged for or you could also face a citation for. Certainly some big changes. Paul, thank you for that tonight. Appreciate you joining us here on Arc Seattle.